Good afternoon. Hope everyone's having a good day. A few minutes ago, I was reminded of something when I, uh, an old man uh, who alleged, alleges being a priest uh, got into the sound of an airliner flying over, irritatedly saying, this is Bishop Skylstads. And uh, as I, uh, uh, as I noted, the, as I uh, considered the matter, I was remembering that earlier today, uh, one or more uh, young gays who uh, participates in the uh, uh, usual disruption at me from uh, traffic sound, etc., cetera, uh, alleges being from family in uh, Colorado and Nebraska, uh, got into the confusion, wanted to anxiously uh, uh, say a variation of the name Skylstad, saying Skullstad. And I guess that the reason they say Skull is because uh, uh, if you... Uh, 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 kind of a, a part, part, partly uh, a, a, tra a transliteration of the word and using Cyrillic that the Cyrillic letter for uh, U is Y so there could be for some maybe a, a little bit of a mix up or a dual dual meaning about the U, the use of U and Y skull or skull you know, skull, you know. so anyway the reason the, the name was familiar to me I guess uh, it had occurred to me earlier uh, was because I was remembering that uh, uh, years ago, uh, the man named Skylstad was in charge of the uh, Diocese of Lincoln, Nebraska. And uh, I had read, uh, I don't remember what year it was, but it was more than 10 years ago, uh, maybe uh, 12 years ago, I don't, I'm not sure, that the FBI had conducted an audit against child abuse nationally. And throughout all of the nation, there was only one diocese that refused to participate, the Diocese of Lincoln, Nebraska. And I'm remembering that uh, uh, on one or more occasions, uh, go out, walking along the roadside here, being uh, hazed at by the broad tra traffic broadcasting, uh, there was an old man who said, this is done under the auspices of the state of Nebraska. Uh, the uh, Diocese of Nebraska has been mentioned repeatedly. And it all goes back to uh, my, the fact that my father, Albert Hartman, uh, had uh, originated from the Lincoln, Nebraska area. And, uh, 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 you know, it's, it's relevant to other details that I've already mentioned pertaining to the uh, alleged conspiring, pertaining to Big Red, uh, transposed to the uh, uh, SSBN, USS Nebraska, etc. But that isn't, the, that isn't the subject of this. So anyway, the particular young man who uh, varied the name uh, Skylstad to Skull uh, uh, anxiously said that they had sneakily, secretly pivoted on an instance of me wearing face paint one time. Uh, the, the instance that I wore face paint was back in uh, uh, the night before Halloween of uh, 1981. So uh, uh, it was the only reason it happened was that uh, at that time I was working in Disney World in the Polynesian Village Hotel Resort, and uh, uh, business was really slow in October. So I got a part-time job that I didn't like working in the uh, steak and ale restaurant of Inter International Drive right near Interstate 4, uh, just south of Orlando. Uh, I didn't really like the job at all, just working a couple or a few hours for, uh, during the lunch shift. But uh, I needed some extra money, so uh, I, had wor I worked there for a total of maybe two or three weeks. And then uh, I was told uh, the day before Halloween that a requirement was that everyone should wear, had to wear a, some kind of costume to work. And I didn't want to spend any money on it, so I got a cheapest package of red black and white face paint and uh, so anyway the night before uh, the night before uh, uh, the uh, Halloween uh, a couple of roommates that I found out it was kind of a death trap that I moved into a house uh, to invest money in and then sell out for a year They're making a lot of noise blurring their uh, stereo shouting and hollering uh, listening to Mick Jagger music and uh, I was really tired, didn't want to participate at all, and I was thinking, I'm probably going to have to be awake late anyway, so why don't I go ahead and put this face paint on now. So I put it on, and uh, what can you use red, black, and white for? So I uh, painted a skull uh, face design on. But then, uh, uh, actually, I didn't like the feeling of the face paint on, and I was going to have to keep it on uh, through the night until the next day, so after about an hour, all I did was wash it off quit the job the next day uh, instead, but not before uh, Instamatic photograph was taken of me wearing the uh, face paint. So anyway, it turns out to be that there was secret pivoting on one particular photograph through my entire life of wearing face paint for Halloween that I actually just uh, washed off. 
So anyway, I'm hoping that everyone's all right about the matter. There isn't any time that I would have wanted to, to in any serious way, uh, represent imagery of skull imagery, but uh, the variation of Skullstad uh, uh, might involve some of the old uh, Nazi SS kind of conspiring. And uh, that reminds me that uh, uh, recently uh, I've been hearing more threat, you know, the, that uh, what, what's hope, hopefully what uh, the, the tragedy is occurring in uh, Ukraine isn't relevant, but through years, there had been talk about some wanting to uh, uh, get revenge against the United States because of the bombings of World War II. And uh, uh, I've heard it said repeatedly, and of course, uh, about matters so technically, we can only hope that our government is being responsible for defense. But I, I remember on one occasion a German uh, citizen uh, 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 saying a clue of uh, how uh, how uh, all-encompassing uh, some envision of revenge at the United States when a German citizen in a Publix deli one day said, how they used to bomb us, don't forget to hit Publix. Well, let's hope that everyone's going to be safe and secure instead and uh, have a good